Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over a few different patterns in play here on Bitcoin as well as how I have been trading and still am trading Bitcoin for you all. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. Should be fairly quick because there's actually not too much to go over. But uh, as normal before I go over you know, what's happening right now, I'd like to cover how we got to 9,800 because it has been a very swift and lovely rise indeed if I'm honest. Uh, very technical as always. Okay, I absolutely love to trade Bitcoin because it is just really, really technically traded well. Okay. It just respects levels, you know, really, really well. So um, <clears throat> let's cover how we got to here. Okay, if you can think back, because I've actually removed it all from my charts, but if you think back, we obviously had this uh, shark harmonic, okay? So from the shark, we obviously come up and hit our D at the 1618 time extension. And then you obviously worked your way down to the low of C, which is obviously a, a target for the shark. And, uh, you know, then you got the ex very expansive rise. So we, we all can like work out what happened here. You obviously, uh, you know, hit, hit, you hit a target for a short. You come back down to the bottom of the range. So really, if we're just looking at this as a range, that was obviously resistance flip to support at the bottom of the range. And what I would note is that there was a lot of a lot of sellers at the range lows. Okay, so we've seen, uh, you know, in one particular candle, we saw 100 million come in. So it was, um, obviously, that's not just from one person, but a collective group of the four hour candle, there was over 100 mil uh, at market sold. So we were seeing, you know, pretty aggressive selling at the lows when you hadn't even lost the actual low. Okay, so that's what like for me was like a real sign that you know you could see this short squeeze upwards. And I've got a few different uh, notes that I'd like to cover for you all today. And this is just like the sort of knowledge I guess that you you only really get from experience of actually trading. But um, it's like one of these things I like to say that you know trading is essentially like a game of chess. Um, so these were like the few of the thought, thought processes that I went through uh, of, of you know thinking why we could get these moves up. Obviously, at the time, you can see so this would have been uh, like two. To, well, while we were at the range lows, I was posting this um, that you could obviously see um, just so many traders opening shorts at the bottom of the range. It's never a good idea, never a good idea to short support. And obviously, being such a crucial support in an uptrend, you know, yeah, you just have to be really, really careful <laughs> opening those short positions because it's never a good trade, if I'm honest. Um, and obviously, they did get that short squeeze upwards. And then it led me on to this. Uh, and this was then posted. So this one was yesterday. And again, you had, um, so this was actually in at like 1 a.m. yesterday. So actually it would have been while we were declining down to 9,550. Okay, so it would have been in this section. You obviously had the rise. And then on this drop down again, we saw very aggressive selling. Um, obviously into resistance, flipping into support. And, and it's this type of like, um, you know, information that's really, really beneficial. I believe that, um, you know, this was my thought process. And this is where trading, I kind of like to put it here to, you know, who's a, you know, who's essentially a better trader. I guess it's, but, you know, if you have both the skills and even better, but who's a better trader, someone that reads the charts or someone that can essentially guess the move of their opponent. And as I've said before, like your opponent is 95% of retail who are losing money. So if you can, if you can think how generally average traders are going to be thinking and then kind of do the opposite more or less, um, then that that's your road to making money, I suppose. But this was like my uh, thought process as we were actually coming down on this move here. Um, that, you know, you you had a, a lot of bearish signs, okay? So you were seeing the funding, you know, people were screaming about how high the funding was. Uh, you had the channel resistance holding, uh, volume increasing on the drop, open interest increasing, so shorts opening. The bin was very thin, so you just had, you know, not very much buyers stepping in at the limit. Um, and then this was me like saying, you know, I like actually that there are so many bearish factors on this chart right now. We are pulling back onto resistance flip to support. Quite simple. We're coming down to support, but everybody is turning bearish again. Uh, and, you know, you suddenly get the crowd saying, right, that's the top. We're coming back down. And that's exactly what you want. Basically, you want everyone to turn bearish. <laughs> kind of made me laugh this comment. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I guess this is kind of a correct comment that you know you have to think like a you know you have to think like a bigger trader how do you fill uh really big orders and i have must say i have been trading very well and big <laughs> but uh, you know when i want to fill for example a big order or just anyone in general wants to fill a big order what do you need to pair that with to fill a big long position you need to have a lot of sell orders how can you bring in a lot of sell orders to the market you know print some sort of bearish pattern print um you know bearish signs on the chart that everyone's going to be start, starting to get scared you even get the the crowd that are then suddenly scared to long the dip because they feel it's going to break down and you also then just get everyone piling into shorts because they also just feel it's going to break down but if you just respect the chart and what's happening it was very very simply we even had the uh weekly so you can see how well it was literally respected uh if we just hide literally that channel and then you can just see the weekly there bang and held 
like literally no closes below. So it was just so such an easy trade. But like all my levels have been making this very easy because as you all know, we went from monthly support, weekly resistance, monthly support, weekly resistance, monthly supports through weekly resistance, back tested weekly resistance, move up again. Really not difficult, actually, if I'm honest, um, if you know how to do the levels and stuff, then, um, you know, what we have here is, you know, what I have I'm viewing here is, is some form of symmetrical slash ascending triangle. Obviously, we are, you know, getting tighter and tighter here. So if you want to look on a bearish side, you could say, well, I'll wait for this trend line to break and actually be close, close below back test and, and break down. Then maybe you could be looking back down towards the weekly again, for example. But I don't see any reason to be bearish unless you sort of break that trend line. Um, and on obviously on the flip side, if we move up, then you're looking at around 10,000 next. 10,000 psychological, then you've got about 10,300, 10,500 and 11,000. So, you know, there's there's not too much resistance on the way up. you just got to get through this big psychological level. Um, then you've got really 10,3 next. So, you know, quite a quite a nice move to the upside. If we can, you know, break this and, and hold. And you, this is where you want to keep keep looking at volume because it is crucial that you keep on increasing as you, as you come up here. Um, but on the flip side, if you want to look for a short positions, then I would say you really want to wait. Uh, again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You, you literally have to do whatever you want. And I'm just uh, giving you my per perspective for an educational purpose. Um, you know, from an educational reasons, if you, you know, for some reason wanted to look for a short, then you would, you know, wait for uh, support to be broken, in my opinion. Don't just try, try and keep timing the highs, timing the highs, timing the highs, because everyone that has done that thus far has, um, you know, for a swing trade perspective, lost money. So, um, you know, trade with the trend is your friend until it's not. Um, and at the moment, the trend is is up. But we obviously are in this sideways consolidation pattern. So if you want to look for the shorts, I, I, in my opinion, I would um, wait for this trend line to be broken. But again, not financial advice. You do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> um so yeah, that's um, basically what I wanted to end with. And uh, oh no, I do want to um, I do want to mention this because I found this hilarious. That uh, I used the Fibonacci fan quite a lot in you know what I class as like professional grade software, trading technologies, etc. Okay, and this is like professional grade software. And um, what's really funny is TradingView have their own method of the Fibonacci fan, and uh, basically they have like in my opinion anyway the, the Fibonacci numbers the wrong way round. Um, and basically, they, they seem, don't seem very keen on fixing it. And the way to that they want to, you know, they they say, we'll fix this once it's had enough requests. Uh, so I've like messaged everyone in my group and um, put on Twitter here that you have to actually send them a message saying the Fibonacci fan values are incorrect. And once they re reach, I guess, a certain amount of requests, then they'll actually fix it. But I found it um, yeah, it's quite hilarious that they have millions, millions of users to their website every day. And uh, they still have an incorrect tool now. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they can fix this soon. But you need to have as much request as possible to fix that, apparently. Um, so, yeah, I guess that is... Uh, I will end going through these screenshots because this was, this was lovely. These are some of the screenshots uh, from what people have been saying in the group. So you can read through that. But, um, yeah, I guess if you want to see these sort of insights, because these are sort of insights and knowledge that, you, you, I, you know, you're not going to see anywhere else, period. So, uh, you know... A little bit of a shill on my own for myself at the end, but I'm happy to do that because, you know, people are happy. So, um, you know, if you want these sort of insights, you want to know how I'm trading actively. I'm, I've now started to do like daily streams, uh, just little little updates every day on video, as well as just being literally in the group every single day, <laughs> nearly all the day. Uh, so if you want this kind of knowledge, as well as a community of, you know, where are you going to see this sort of, sort of stats put out? But, um, you know, if you want this sort of community, then, you know, you can feel free to come along to check us out at chartchampions.com. And, uh, yeah, it is going very, 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 very well indeed. Nice and good trades. People making some very, very healthy profits and trades. So that's always nice to see as well as, um, yeah, as well as, you know, having my trading knowledge on top of that spewed at you every day <laughs> so if you like that sort of thing and a nice community of traders and feel free to come across it if not then i understand and uh you know good luck on your own trades i suppose so uh thank you i hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video and i will catch you in the next update let's keep a close eye on how this triangle here breaks uh so thank you and goodbye cheers